lots of you keep asking me about protein shakes. Do I have them? Which ones do I like? So I thought I'd do a live and just, I'm making my protein shake. So I'm gonna make it with you. Um, so they're not the same as food. Obviously it's food always first over protein shakes, but sometimes they are quite handy at giving you a protein boost and they're a quick meal that you can just whiz up in no time. And you can make them really delicious as well and nutritious. So when I do mine, I normally do a plant-based milk in there because I'm going to be having more of it. So I sometimes do 300 mils. This is just a plant-based almond milk. Then I put in my protein powder. I tend to go with uh, two companies generally. Um, I've got a link on my bio for one of them. One of them I use, this is not a recommendation, it's just what I do. I use the Raw Sports Vegan Collagen Plus. It's not collagen in there, it's hyaluronic acid, which is a precursor to collagen. It's also got... Um, magnesium, um, B vitamins, active B vitamins, which is really unusual, um, sage extract and ashwagandha, which is good for you know, hormone um, support as well. Um, they come in yummy flavors. The other one I sometimes use is Form. That's also quite a pure one. They do nice flavors as well in their pure blend protein. They don't have any of the vitamins and minerals. So you always need to check the small ingredients to check they work for you. So I put in about 30 to 40 um, grams in mine. <laughs> My scales aren't working, typical. Um, so that was, so about 30 grams, 30 to 40 grams has about 25 grams of protein in there. It's kind of more than you think. Um, okay, more than I thought. Um, that one is a banana flavoured one. So it gives you the taste of banana without actually having all the banana. Then I like to add a Brazil nut for selenium. Selenium is good for the thyroid gland. It's the richest source of selenium because it grows in Bolivia and Brazil, which has a really rich selenium um, soil. So I've put one or two, you don't need more than two a day. I'm only putting one in because I've just eaten one as well. <laughs> <laughs> couldn't wait um, then I do a tablespoon of chia seeds for some extra fiber um, so chia seeds are rich in soluble fiber I'm going to add a splash of kefir for some extra um, probiotics sometimes I add um, a little bit of extra fiber like myota or something like that in fact I will because I've got, I've got some here I'm not going to add a full serving just a sprinkling in there um, so that goes in um, sometimes I also because it's a plant-based milk, I sometimes add a little bit of extra calcium. This is my, this is one I get from Amazon, but it's a really nice one. It's called um, Natural um, Calcium. It's made from seaweed. It's got other minerals like iodine, iron, magnesium in there as well. So it's actually a bit of a sort of milk um, mineral replacement and you don't need very much of it. It's got tons of, um, it's got like tons, that's not very... Um, scientific is it it's actually got 924 milligrams which is actually your daily amount of calcium in one portion so I don't always use a whole portion of it but it's quite good to top up plant milks if you don't eat dairy I eat dairy as well but I'm just showing you here some of the things that I do and then I'm going to chill it chill it before you um, it's always a good idea to chill things down with the smoothies so rather than using ice okay bear with me with this I'm actually going to use um, some frozen cauliflower which I really like to use. Um, I'm gonna use one actually that's just slightly softer. I've just had one out for about five minutes, which is gonna just go in there. It just cools it down, gives you a bit more veg, but doesn't actually um, sweeten it. I some, sometimes find they're sweet enough. So frozen cauliflower goes in. Um, then I'm going to add some frozen berries for the polyphenols and the bioflavonoids. So a really good source of um, of antioxidants and um, phyto, phyto um, chemicals, so those healthy plant chemicals, and then I'm going to put it in my blender. I have to say this is uh, this is the first time I've used this blender, which is quite brave actually doing it online. This is uh, I bought this yesterday. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's called the Beast. You can only get hold of it from Selfridges at the moment. I'm not uh, advertising it by the way, because I've never used it. So we're actually going to use it live. So oh my god, I'm a little bit nervous. See what happens. only it's 
Oh, it looks good. That was brave actually to do it, wasn't it? Just online because um, that could have gone, that could very much have gone a different way. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. So this I would have as a snack. I would have it as if, if I was running out to work and I hadn't got time to prepare um, a bigger breakfast. Oh, so you're asking me loads of questions. Hello from Down Under. Hello. Can you ask me your questions again? Because I never, I get so, go, I get going on it and then I forget. Um, you could also use the Vitamix. Yes, you could use a Vitamix. You could use a Bullet Blender. You could use a Thermomix. Um, you could use anything. I'm sorry, I get so carried away that I forget to see what people are writing, which is really silly when I'm doing a live because... Um, that's what you're there for. So ask your questions, ask away, and I'll try and answer some while I just get a glass. And it's beautifully chilled. And it's no bits in it. Um, I don't think there's any more questions. But anyway, that is, <laughs> that's my smoothie. What flavour project? It was a banana flavour on this side. Um, why is it what's so good about the beast blender i don't know i think it looked really cool okay so i <laughs> i have lots of uh blenders it's part of my job right so and i like the look of it it's from la apparently it's a californian uh brand i just think it's it's the most attractive looking bullet blender i've seen it's one that um it does exactly the same really as an, uh one of those you know any bullet blender it's got one of those sort of extractor style blades that actually doesn't feel that sharp but it whizzes everything down to a to a powder i'm actually going to use it for things like sauces and dressings and um i've got lots of ideas for my new program and i think um i think that will be good it's also got a big a bigger bowl so it's got um you can do it's a liter this and you can do up to 700 and 700 mils let me play with it and then i'll tell you if i like it is this recorded yes i will post it um i use raw sport protein powder sometimes i use um form the one i've used here is this one um, collagen plus but please check the ingredients are right for you because it's got ashwagandha in it which doesn't suit everyone but it's um it's designed for women this one for um a bit of extra hormone balance and there's magnesium in there and there's b vitamin so it's a really nice one um are they ultra processed some are some aren't you have to be careful lots of them are whey proteins the cheaper they are the more processed they are um, lots of the vegan plant protein ones are minimally processed. Um, I like the, as I said, the raw sport one because it's made by nutritionists. So it's got really nice quality ingredients. I will write down the ingredients in here. Um, you've requested to be in my video. I don't know what, I don't know how to do that, <laughs> but I'm probably going to stop and then I'll, and then I'll uh, write down the uh, recipe and then I'll post it. Otherwise I'm going to lose people who come back and want to watch it later. Um, who doesn't sue ashwagandha? Ashwagandha is, um, stimulates also the immune system. If someone had, for example, um, an autoimmune condition that was very active, they may not want to use ashwagandha because it might overstimulate their immune system. But for most people, it's what we call an adaptogen. Ashwagandha is a root. It's been used in Ayurvedic medicine for thousands of years. What adaptogens do is they help the body adapt to highs and lows. So I think it's probably in here in this case because of its... Um, effects on well stress and also on hormone balance so if your stress levels are high adaptogens try and bring them down if your stress if your stress hormones are too low they try and nudge them up and it's the same with estrogen and our immune system so adaptogens are have are normally found in nature and they're in the plants they're trying to rebalance so that's kind of how they work but they also tend to work in our body it's the same way as sort of mushrooms work as well um some of them are very sweet. I know that's why I put the frozen cauliflower in there because it takes the sweetness off it. Just use use something to take that sweetness out. They're not sugar. It's I think it's um, stevia in this one. Um, but if you go for yeah, just go for an un. I've got some blueberries in there, but the cauliflower just takes it down a bit. You could put spinach in there. You could put avocado in there, and then that takes it out. Is it a nightshade? Um, could it be contraindicated with histamine sensitivity? Um, I don't know is the answer to that one. Um, it is a nightshade, um, but you don't eat very much of it. So compared to something like tomatoes or peppers in the diet, if you are sensitive to nightshades, you're gonna be more sensitive to them than you would be to ashwagandha, but the advice would still be probably don't have it if you're really sensitive to nightshades. Okay, I'm gonna have my breakfast now, if that's okay. Um, and I'll write this up and you can watch it again if you want to. Okay, take care, thanks for looking, bye.